My name is Doug Coombs. I'm the executive director of Olive Crest. Olive Crest is dedicated to the prevention of child abuse. For almost 40 years, Olive Crest has promoted the safety and well-being of children that have been abused, abandoned, or neg neglected in our community. Since 2004, over 1,400 kids have emancipated out of the, out of the child welfare system uh, here in Clark County. Currently, we have over 400 kids that have emancipated out that still need some form of help. And what we started to learn and started to hear, although we knew instinctively that the kids that emancipated out of the system, a third of them almost don't, are homeless and some of them are incarcerated. How can you be focused on improving your life if you don't have a place to sleep? Well, when I was small, I was hurt. I was hurt a lot. I was hit a lot, downgraded a lot. I always said I wasn't worth anything. And then I hit foster when I finally went to foster care around at the age of five. It's been like, you know, rocky as well, because I'm young, not knowing, and away from my family. And it's like, foster care was a savior to me because when I was foster care, it's like I was safe. And every time, like home visits, I was a whole different person. And, and it always seemed like it's always my fault. And adults don't know how to take responsibility. And I think that's why I come to the person I am today is because if I don't take responsibility from what I'm becoming, then I'm not gonna be anything. And I'm tired of people saying, oh, it's her fault, it's her fault. No, it's my fault that where I am now because of you, but I'm growing and I'm strong. Um, how I ended up in foster care, my mom, um, it was just one day, um, she had dropped me off at school. I was going to war middle school at the time. When I came home and stuff and she wasn't there, it was bad. Like, I didn't even know what to do like or anything. That's when, that's when we ended up in foster care because my mom ended up going to prison. I just fell into bad depression and I had a bunch of anxiety attacks for like over a month. So yeah, my life kind of got stopped at that time. And it's kind of like crazy because I have two jobs. So like I have no days off, I have no days off. So it's kind of like stressful, but then like I know I have to do it to get like to be successful in life. Cause I'm the first one in my family to do anything. To graduate, to go to CSN. My little sister's the next one. So it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. I don't know, I don't even know how I'm feeling. Like, I'm excited. This is something that's gonna be big for me. Like, whole new, you know, whole new life change and uh, get into a whole new life setting. I'm really anxious and excited um, to find out how the apartment looks. <laughs> We know that, um, again, in the foster care system, uh, in some instances, it's, it's not perfect. And um, there's a lot of kids in the system that need um, special support and help um, through no fault of their own. But we knew with the older population, the kids that were 17, 18, like I said, that the issue of um, having a home, a stable home, is a real challenge. This is a two-year program for us to give, provide the kids with the skills they need to be successful, however they define that in their lives. And I'm really like, I'm ecstatic. I'm so blessed to even have this in my corner and to have all the wonderful people like you guys in my corner to give me something such that's so amazing to understand, like, you're worth it. And our hopes and dreams that is that we can uh, help transform these lives starting today, that we're creating a new story starting today, and um, we're going to follow their, their lives for the next two years.